live action today, circa AD 31. Let's see what's going on in a day like this. Oh, my back. Oh, my back. What have you been doing all day? I've been working in the field with this wheat all day. And let me tell you, it's been some hard work. Oh, I'm sorry that you've been going through that. Yeah, I even got some allergies. Ah! Oh my gosh. Sorry <laughs> about that. Sorry about that. And this crazy Jesus guy, man, he was talking about some wheat and some dairy. And I said, Jesus, I'm off the clock. I don't want to be talking about work, if you know what I mean. I do know. You want to have a break from those conversations. Yeah. Something about some wheat and some tears, I just didn't understand. Really? Well, but... There's something. I think you got a tear. Breaking news. She's got a tear. I would never have no tears in my wig. I don't know where that came from. I don't know how it got in there. There's something not right. There's something wrong here. It was the devil. Oh, boy. And I've got a little story for you. I think I remember when Jesus talked about that. I was, I was traveling a little bit. Jesus was saying about the man. There was a farmer. And the farmer was sowing some seeds. And the seeds were just so great. And he worked so hard all day that he said, I need to take a nap and go this way. When he took a nap and went to sleep, unfortunately, there was an enemy who came in the camp. The enemy. Yes, very scary. Very scary. He put little seeds in. These seeds were bad seeds. They were no good seeds. They didn't come up as wheat. They were tears. Let me tell you, they were tears. Huh. Now, these tears that came up, later on, the servants of the farmer told the farmer and said, Sir, these, these seeds, they, they made, I, I wonder if there was someone that came in and put the wheat, the wheat's not right. It looks like something's wrong. And, and the farmer said, just let it grow. Let it grow. Let's see what will happen. And some angels at the end of the age will take the wheat and the tares and take out the tares. And they will go in the fire with mashing teeth. Mashing no! But do you have anything else you want to say about it? Well, the thing is, is the farmer is God. God is the one who plants the good seed. But then Satan, he comes and he puts bad seed. They grow up together so you don't know. The thing is with Christians is that we're rubbing shoulders with those people who don't really love God. Or maybe people even say they love God. They say, I love God, I love God, I love God. But the truth of the matter is you know a tree by its fruit. If you say you love God, but you're living in another way, and even though you may look like a Christian, you sound like a Christian, at the end of the age, there'll be a separation, and the angels of God will take you up to God, and there'll be a judgment. The thing is, this life won't last forever. We may be together now with people who don't love God and know God, but believe me, there's going to be a great separation between evil and good, and God is going to take his people. So I have one question for you. Are you ready for that day? Are you ready, ready? Are you ready? that day. Amen.